got to be evil. Oh, 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 I'm gonna be oh, straight oh, oh, evil. All righty. Well, I didn't say evil. I said bad guys. Because you may not be evil. You just might be bad. Well, you're the I'm hero. Bad. I'm bad. You know, you are the hero evil. in your own story. That's how it operates. Not as necessarily. Always. Debut. Every time. So yeah, so be interesting. So we picked. I, I this is we didn't we didn't actually have any pre discussion about this at all. Well, we none whatsoever. I mean, so you guys love we kind of we kind of figured it out, didn't we? Sure. Well, in this game, I tried to pick people who would be considered fairly vile, but I have a whole lot of fun playing them regardless. And I tried to pick. On my list, I only have a couple games where it's a two sided game, and someone by very nature has to play the bad guy. Okay, I have some of those. Yeah, I have some of those, but I mean, I could do a whole list of those. Sure. But there's some where you're the bad guy, and there ain't no, there ain't no coming back from it. That's the way to do it. So, <laughs> and of course, your definition of a bad guy, like if I say in this game you're a mob boss, and you may be a mob boss watching and saying we're not so bad. You just have to accept that we might have some differences of opinions in that regard. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you are a mob boss watching this, though... Uh, then you really should have supported wait, us in the you, Kickstarter. What are you saying, mob That's, bosses? We're a great way to like launder your games? money. A, yes. But B, we apologize for anything we might have said <laughs> that could have possibly upset you. <laughs> Everything is tongue-in-cheek. Well, the address out there is... Well, that's my address, isn't it? Oops, that's you right. Can, you can do what you want. That's right. Bite me. Ooh. <laughs> arr, arr, arr. The mob is fake. Send your hate. I don't mail. think we're going to have much crossover. Let me see. No, no, no. Maybe this will be on your list. Possibly. Nope, 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 nope. So you're saying one, maybe two. No, I'm saying um, on my two. list that will be on yours. There's a possibility of three at the most on, uh, between the two of you. I got one that I know is on your list. You don't know I, that. It's got to be. It has to be. Unless, of course, I missed something. Okay, I'm pretty well, sure. We'll I'm pretty sure one of those two will be on one of your lists. I'm pretty sure. It's riveting. Uh, that Just one, say. that one. Maybe this one. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, well, here we go. Let's get started. Top 10 games where you are the bad guy. Wait. Okay, this is the part where we can talk because no one can hear us. That's true. Yeah. Number 10. Listeners. <sighs> oh, all right. Yeah. Over to you, Sam. My number 10. All right, my number 10 is a game where you are a bunch of people. Humans? Yes. Okay. That's like that. That have actually killed people, stolen a whole bunch of money. Hmm. And now you're divvying it up mm. between yourselves. All Everybody's right. a bad guy. It's possible that you aren't bad guys and this money was an inheritance from your mother. That is not true. So then in that, that case... That is absolutely wait, false. Saying all the people are related? <laughs> Talking about cashing guns. And they have guns. Second edition. It's time to, time to split guns, dad's second, inheritance. Second edition. And everybody is pointing guns at everybody else. That and this is not like, guy. you know, there's one good guy and everybody's pointing their guns. No. There's a bunch of bad people. They're all pointing guns at each other because they want that moolah, moolah cash. Mm. Uh, and they don't want everybody else to have it. So cashing guns is... is Everybody is bad, um, but I don't really care. Well, one guy might be an undercover cop if you play with the one variant from first version that no one ever plays with. I did it once. And probably is one Where you pass the cards under the table? Yes, I hated that. It was, hated it was, it was that. really fiddly. I a really fiddly that. way to do that, unfortunately. But um, I, I normally do not like playing bad guys in games, usually because I, in my mind, make a deeper connection to what is actually going on, even though the game may not provide that connection. I think it's okay to be you. bad when everyone's bad. No. <laughs> I think it's okay to be bad anyway in a fictional setting. Uh, I mean, I, heck, I just, even in real life sometimes it's okay to be bad. Like if I robbed a bank, which I'm not saying I have or will, and somebody <laughs> tried to take that money. <laughs> Sam didn't want to make this list anyway. Anyway. So I might shoot something. I, I, don't, I usually don't like make, being bad guys, but this is one of the games I don't care. Because uh, it's... It's just can't be fun, in my opinion. So that's my number 10, Cash and Guns 2.0. Alrighty, my number 10, the way I ranked these, by the way, was kind of, sort of, by how evil you are. Like, how bad you are in the game. So my number 10 hmm. is a uh, pirate game. Not the only pirate game that you'll see on the list. Pirates, I think, are evil. I think it counts as being bad. If Some of those pirate. pirates are good. Sure. We are the pirates who don't do anything. The pirates of Penzance are fine, yes. Uh, 
Uh, Libertalia is my number 10. You're a bunch of pirates that are legally distinct from the cast of Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely looks like that Mark Not, Wilson figure. not by much, man. <laughs> <laughs> and you are going to be playing cards, using your characters to divvy up some loot, attack, uh, you know, the the fleets, the different uh, merchant ships, and this and that, taking tokens. It's a very app. It's the the evil quarter, uh, you know, uh, sort of um, quote in this is very abstracted. It's not you don't you don't feel yeah. like you're doing anything particularly <laughs> evil in this game. But it's in there. You are all pirate crews, and you are doing some pirating. So that's my number 10, a card game I really enjoy. One that I wish by now would have gotten an expansion. At this point, I think I've given up hope. I don't think there's ever going to be an expansion for this. Yeah, we expected there to be one, right? Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of characters in it already, so it's not like it's hurting for content necessarily. Nope. But more tokens would have been nice. Honestly, I would have rather had more tokens than more cards. You know, because that really, there were only two or three or four different kinds of tokens. There were not very many. Um, still a great game. If you've never played it, I would certainly recommend it. Libertalia, my number 10. And like I said, just the first of possibly several pirate games. My number 10 is a game that hasn't, I think, made a top 10 list before, <gasps> actually. I know. Is it like out? Sam. Is it published? No, it's been out for a while. It's actually Gilhova's first game, I think. As, yeah, most people know him because he's always he has his own company now where he mm -hmm. makes his games. But Good this matters. was Battle Merchants. Okay. This was from Minion Games, and in this game, you are a merchant who is selling arms to fantasy races to both sides. You're selling to the humans, and you're selling to the goblins, and watching them fight each other. Is that a villain? Is that a bad guy? That's the Merchant of Death, man. That's like that Tony Stark. Have you seen the Nick Cage movie? Is that a yeah, bad guy? Yeah, Lord of War. Lords of War, yeah. bad guy. Bad guy, really? I, I see him as an entrepreneur. I agree. You got to look out <laughs> for number one. To, He's trying to get rich. trying to make his way in the universe. Let me get that gold. That's right. If y'all choose to kill yourselves with my provisions... That is up to you. You're being evil. I'm just giving you wall decoration. Oh, wait. <laughs> Apparently we're showing a different number 10 because... Number 8. <laughs> <laughs> that was number 8, which I didn't mark on my list properly. <laughs> That's a spoiler. That's uh, cool. Nice let's, go, let's go to actual number 10 now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is the actual number 10? Is maybe it Assault should... of the Giants, maybe? Um... Number 10 is Assault of the Giants. I'll write this down, you know, maybe that would have been useful. Wait, mm. giants are giants are bad guys now? Um, I think that's that's not nice. It, it's because they're different. <laughs> Hang on, I'm still a little flummoxed by my... All right. That's how you get two games in for the price of one. That's cheap. I'm pretty sure that's two games for the price of two. <laughs> all right, so Assault of the Giants, in this particular game, you are giants. And yes, in D&D... Is there a good giant? There might be one somewhere. I'm sure there are good giants. There are good giants. There is I no good giant. I know Skyrim. Who's a good I go giant? Up and say hi and shake their hand. and Then they throw you 500 feet in the air. They're just playing catch. <laughs> <laughs> With your body. These giants are misunderstood. All right. They're so, not evil. Aw. Poor giants. All righty. So, number, yeah, uh, the Assault of the Giants, you are one of the clans of giants. The one group of giants, their goal is to eat people. Okay. They gotta All eat right. too. All right. I'll they gotta it. eat too. I do like this game. This is from WizKids. It's a lot of fun. It's that whole pick a group of giants. It's a fire giants, a storm giants. They're all evil. They're all class. They're all listed in the monster manual. Man, that's that's racist. <laughs> it's species, species and yes, I am anti. I don't like. I don't even like tall people. <laughs> Self-loathing is strong with this <laughs> guy. <Got> real. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Light number 10. I saw the Giants, and you never heard about the Battle of Berks, this thing. Okay. Got it. Well, I'm surprised. No, I'm going to get myself again. No. Shut up, Z. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My number nine. I guess you could say. Now, this one is kind of... Are you sure? <clears throat> yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, my number nine depends on your point of view, which side is the bad guys. And I guess this falls under the category that you excluded from your list, whereas there's only two sides and one of them has to, one of you no, has to No, I didn't exclude them. I just said it in, I could have filled the whole list. Like, you could pick right, right, lots right. of, let's say you considered a 
well, not to consider Nazis are bad, but I'm saying that, that yeah, you could pick yeah. every World War II game, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Correct. Correct. Um, well, this one is Raptor. Now, are the scientists the bad guys because they're trying to capture the little baby raptors, or are the raptors the bad guys because they are the uh, they're the tenacious, voracious? We're going to eat all the humans. Tenacious. Um, Voracious <laughs> killing machine. So, depending on what your point of view is, you're gonna have to play the bad guy, one or the one or the other. But it doesn't really matter to me because both side plays so very similar that I don't care if I'm playing the bad guy, and I actually enjoy playing the bad guy, whichever you think that side is. Right. And I don't really care which side you think the bad guy is because I yeah. So anyway, Raptors are really fun. I do not. We're going to let people pick who the bad guy is, so you can pick <laughs> either. That is their nature, and they are... Right. All she's doing is protecting her spawn. Correct. The scientists are not killing them. They are studying them, as far as we can tell. They're capturing the babies. They're not killing them. And they never even technically shoot the mother raptor. They are putting her to sleep. Like, not permanently. Mm -hmm. So that when they... The, you know, you have bullets in the game, you're not shooting her, like... Bom, bom, bom. They could do that and probably take her out pretty easy. All right, so well, let's the, see what the internet the said. The guy in Jurassic Park who's trying to bring all of these dinosaurs back to life, and he isn't villainous in a way? I don't think so. I mean... I, I, I've, I've looked at him that way because he's definitely portrayed as I think he's the selling evil trade guy secrets and stuff that makes him kind of, like, shady. But, like, the act of pursuing the science of bringing back a species of animal that's been extinct that doesn't make them necessarily For profit purely yeah, I think that's okay. all right well 29 people voted here yeah two people said raptors are bad 19 said scientists two said both six said n neither so Clearly, scientists the comments in the, in the chat have been animals can't be evil humans can be Sure, yeah, no, I agree with that, but I think the scientists. Also, the when I played the scientists, were actually cooks. When I. Monster. The you're, bad guy list? You're okay, in the monster man. <laughs> <laughs> that game's coming up. Hold up. All right, so that's my number nine, Raptor. All right, and my number nine, speaking of. It's a game called Demon Work. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> man, there's a lot of them to. Hey, man, uh, it's, it's made for this list. It's a worker placement game in which you are a demon, and you Yay. put your, you're like a greater demon, you put your lesser demons to work, including humans, they're the starting ones, and then you get better demons. Uh, you are going to be, it's really like, I mean, the, the, a lot of the cards, as you can see there, are more, you know, fantastical creatures, it's got a fantasy setting. But you will have a Cerberus, and you'll have a, you know, two-headed dog, and you'll Satan, have a... Satan, Beelzebub. Yeah, baby. Um, <laughs> no. And you are going to be sending out workers. The, the reason it is certainly evil, even though, again, the theme is very tongue-in-cheek, which is why it only comes in at nine, is that you are creating the tokens you're collecting. There's a few different kinds. One of them is human suffering. Um, some of the other ones are, you know, e evil, quote-unquote, stuff. But it's a really engaging game. It's one of the smallest worker placement games that I think I've ever seen. And it manages to do quite a bit with just cards and a couple of tokens. And that's really all there is to it. The main clever twist here being that at the beginning of the game, you draft a hand of workers. And you'll pay for them and employ them. Which means your worker placement is different from other people's. Like this worker does something none of your workers do. Or will ever do, because you don't have that card. Hmm. And I really enjoy that. This is a great game. It's a thinky game. It's engaging, quick for everything you're doing in it. Really like it. So if you've never played it, definitely, if you like worker placement, this is a, unfortunately one that's just flown under the radar. So, my number nine, Demon Worker. Demon Worker. All right, the rest of mine are all numbered. So we should have this correct way out here. Yeah, let's find out. Well done, sir. My number nine uh, is from a... I remember seeing a commercial about this when I was a kid in the Do you want to be evil, kids? Yeah! No, you were the kids chasing Stab the evil person. Parents. But one person has to be evil. So there's a lot of these games out there. So in this one, I'm picking Scotland Yard. The original, the cool one. Ooh. Mr. X. Mr. X. Mr. X. Yeah. I like that. I like the idea of running... I, I, I way rather play Mr. X than the detectives in this game. What did he do? Well, I don't know. Here, Why is he yeah, evil? Okay. Well, actually... Is he really the bad guy? Yeah, is everybody... Look at him! He's wearing dark side! 
Huh? He was there a moment ago, and he was wearing dark sunglasses. He's wearing a hat. I think if you wear a lot of hats, especially that kind of <laughs> hat, you're you're an evil person. <laughs> Look at him, fedora, evil sunglasses, trench coat with the thing up. Oh, that's evil. Definitely evil. Now, so what happened? You see, here it goes. What had happened was well, the queen made kids. some fudge. It was for a fudge baking contest. Okay, got it. And it, this is years ago in the 90s when she doesn't make fudge nowadays because of the whole thing. Right. You know, there was that fudge incident. Yeah, correct. Anyway, yeah, so she made some fudge. fudge and while she was making fudge, this guy robbed the bank. Oh, that's not okay. That's what I'm saying. He got away with all the gravy. So what does if you're the putting fudge gravy have to do on with fudge? Ooh. Well, I just I like fudge. Number he, nine, Scotland Yard. first in the Queen's fudge <laughs> history. That's what it is. Don't say it that way. Hey, Number man, nine. you said it. <laughs> Number nine, I like these chasing people around the board game. Scotland Yard is still a classic for me. Still very enjoyable. Scotland Yard. Number eight. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> hmm? All right, my number eight. Again, with the mobsters. Uh, and I kind of ranked mine in order of how much I enjoy to play the game rather than any type of level of evil yes. in the game as, as, as you uh, said you did. Yeah. The Godfather, Colerone's Empire. Uh, you are literally, uh, one of your goals in the game is to, well, not really a goal, I guess, but one of the things you're doing in the game is you are filling the river up with bodies. You're trying to stop the flow of water. <laughs> That's the objective of the game. You're all no! beavers trying to build a dam with this is a good choice. bodies. This is one I forgot, actually. I don't know how I missed this one. They yeah, might have made this the list. This is a really this fun game to play. You are all bad people. There is no uh, way you're good in this there game. There is no goodness here at all. Well, you are uh, battling over territory. You're killing people. You're putting people's bodies in the rivers, cement shoes, the works. This is you are a bad dude or dudette. And uh, but it's really fun, and they I really enjoy the game a, a lot. Cobbler. Uh, so, <laughs> what do you uh, make pies? That's my number eight, the shoes. Godfather, Corleone's ah, Empire. The shoes, cement shoes, cement the cement shoes. cobbler. The cement cobbler is that's pretty a good, good villain name. Cement cobbler. That sounds like a a it's dish. A it's some type dessert. of yeah. When you eat it, it's like. Boom. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I've had Ooh, the cement that's, that's cobbler. there like a brick. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably a dish at some restaurant somewhere. It's probably, Some yeah. gangster thief cement restaurant. Cement cobbler, yeah. At the cement cobbler. All right, my number eight is the one I figured would be on someone's list later on, and that is King of Tokyo. Nope. Uh, no? Nope. I no. don't look at these guys as villains. Again, of course monsters, they're villains, man. Monsters aren't villains, man. Well, they're attacking and destroying no, no. cities. We said, villains. said animals aren't villains. No, we said animals aren't villains. We didn't say Which, monsters oh, weren't guys villains. Are there's, a, there's a gorilla. There's a penguin. Sure, I think I think uh, penguins are evil anyway. Let's start right there. There's a there's a there's a dinosaur. There's a fish. There's a bunny rabbit. There's a goat. I mean, Several these are animals. Donkeys. Animals cannot. Be Monster is good. When I, when I play it, I'm there fighting the other monsters who oh, are bad. Oh, you okay. No, no, really, okay, that's okay. why I would do it, look at it that way. I got that. I'm not. I'm there to kill humanity. <laughs> you know what I mean? So next time we play, it's you versus me, I guess. But no, I'm certainly, when I play this game, I'm not trying to save anyone. I mean, I'm, you know, there's the card where you're snatching up a train and eating the people. But I let the people you're get out first. Down, knocking down helicopters. Yeah, you're destroying I mean, you and pick killing. pick up the train and you shake the people out and then you eat it. Into my cocktail. <laughs> and then I drink them. Ooh, mm. Human tapioca. Ooh, human rice crispy treats. <clears throat> so no, in this game I think I'm evil. Uh, and again, it's tongue in cheek and silly and all that, so it's higher up on the list. But I actually thought, yeah, I figured it would be on one of your lists, guys. Nope. I'm disappointed. There was a lot universe. of games I got to put on these lists. Yeah, <laughs> right, a, guess so. There was no shortage of bad guy games. That's true. All right, that's my number eight, King of Tokyo. All right, my number eight has never been on the game. <laughs> a geek list before blah 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 battle merchants all right so so explain what happens <laughs> are you some sort of merchant yeah but what i like about this game is like an economic game but you are literally selling the arms of both sides they fight each other then you go out to the battlefield pick up some weapons and <laughs> sell them again that's amazing e economics is evil oh that's amazing there's no arguing that i really like this game this is a underrated forgotten game actually it's a pretty fun game. Oh, it's got a lot Battle going on. Merchants. Yeah. It's, a cool, it's a cool looking board. 
Yeah, huh. well, I mean, basically, there's a fight going on, and you're so you can you can sell weapons, I guess, to just one side, but you won't win if you do that. <laughs> you need to you need to you need to work Diversify. it. Diversify. That's Challenge right. Accepted. Battle merchants, this my number eight. Not one I've ever played. Number oh, seven. Hey, number seven. All right, my number seven is a social deduction game, actually. And uh, there is a good side and a bad side. And uh, the bad side is uh, the resistance. Oh. Wait, who's the bad guys? Uh, the corporate the corporate people. Okay, Why? good. Why? I'm not even putting a poll up about that one. <laughs> yeah, the corporate people are definitely the bad. The people who are infiltrating that are trying to stop the resistance from completing Yeah, but Z always resistance. plays as those people, so therefore he thinks they're yeah, the no good guys. That's why it's confusing. Is supposed yeah, to be no, on. you're the good guy whichever side you're on. You are the good guys. It's the other people that are evil. Nope. Nope. Corporate is the bad guy. No, I disagree. Yeah. They're trying to make a better world. Make Wayland. A make a bull. I'll make a bull. Make yep. a bull. For make a bull. Keep talking about why you like the game, I why guess. Why do you like the game? I like the game because one side is good. Which side? Depends on your point of view. <laughs> uh, I actually thought you were going to say uh, the red coat. What is it? Red coats and Patriots versus red coats. Yeah. Yeah. Well, again. Uh, but you, again, it's sort of like that's even more debatable, really, a little bit. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I don't really. know. Maybe not. No. Maybe not. Not yeah, really. Not really. No. Not really. Uh, you no. could. You could. You could do that. And I probably should have put Patriots versus Redcoats. But you can still do that, man. Uh, yeah. But then we'd have all the Brits in there saying the, that the Redcoats were the good guys. That's true, and that's probably why I may Star have even Trek thought that. Which nerd is why would show I didn't be like, oh no, Redcoats. So the resistance will stand. <laughs> uh, the resistance will stand. But anyway, I, I really do enjoy this. I do enjoy being. Uh, the people who are trying to figure out uh, who the good guys, so to speak, are, and trying to stop them from doing it. And but it's it's You're abstracted, like, evil, like the, the uh, side it's abstracted so that it's you know I don't really feel evil doing this. This is one of the few games where I like both sides about the same, actually. Yeah, I agree. I agree. No, I, I do too. I, I do too. I, I just usually don't like playing the bad side if there is a bad side. Sure, engaged. right. But so that's why one, it made the list. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so out of 37 votes, 19 people said corporate's the bad guy. Seven Walmart employees said rebels were the bad guy. Seven Walmart employees? Well, because they work for a corporation. They can't say anything. Walmart's oh, monitoring right. their computers. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And 14 people said I don't care. So I'm right again. Right again? Do you want me to put in that poll question? Because <laughs> that may How not often go, is Sam right? That Never. may not go the way you Rarely. would. Rarely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, number seven. Here we go. My number seven is my second pirate picking, and that is Rum and Bones, Second Tide. Those guys are good. Animals. Um, even when you're playing two factions, creatures out to just destroy yeah. humanity, you can be like, oh, they're the bad guys, and I'm the good ones? Not really. You're still pirates. You're not as bad as the other side. But if you weren't caught in this fight, you would be looting someone's You might be a licensed privateer from the British government. That's Which a legal pirate. It's a way to be legally evil, sure, yeah. You're only hurting bad people. Technically. Isn't, isn't evil a question of morality and not legality? Oh, it got real in here with two <laughs> long words. <laughs> Deal with that. Make uh, a poll out of that. How do you spell evil? That's a mega pull out of that. E E E E E E E E V I L. No, V V E E E E E E E L. Evil. Anyway, rum and bones, pirates, fighting, clashing, sort of a. I didn't expect this list to be this philosophical, but all right. MOBA style games. Is that what you call those video games? MOBA with defending lanes and all that. Yeah. It's kind of like that, but mm -hmm. with more pirates and a dude that looks like a shark. It's yeah. awesome. Head-to-head, uh, -head two-player only game. It's good. It's good stuff. And I enjoy being it's not kind of... Only. Huh? It's not two-player only. It's not? Mm -hmm. I only play two-player, so it yeah, might as well, well be. Yeah. Um, I, I, this is fun. Being kind of like a crazed crazed faction of pirates in this game is fun. So, yes, I, I dig being... You can play up to four. Uh, that's one of the reasons really why... It's really a two-player game. Right, that's one of the reasons why Second Tide was actually made is because they, they fixed the three and four player version rules. Got it. Anyway, two player game only, Rum and Bones, Second Tide. 
<laughs> All right. My number seven. Be quiet, Chris. <laughs> my number seven is a game in which you are breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Bootleggers. Oh, now, wow. Now, Throwback. here's the thing. Throwback. Here's the thing. I'm not saying necessarily, I'm not arguing even that what they were doing, whether what they're doing is morally wrong or not necessarily. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious, but they're breaking the law. You're distilling it. The cop is chasing you. You actually send the cop over to bust other people. You then go sell the booze to speakeasies. Everything, I mean, every part of this game is pretty much illegal. So you're the bad guy. So it's not necessarily evil. The list said bad guy, not evil. That's true. Oh, he got us. I feel like I'm in a quandary. Hmm. That's Rum running. Yeah, Bootleggers is a fun game. This is one of those games I would love to see taken and redone. You Illegally. know. <laughs> oh, no, no. You should get the rights. That's probably already been done, actually. You're going to do that and get the rights. I would like to see like a, a, a 2.0 for Bootleggers because it's a pretty fun game. And this it is has really cool. You're driving your trucks around. It has a little bit of take that. Actually, you know what? This might have been a good one for my take that. List because it has some take that cards take in that there. In yeah, it's yeah, been it's many, many years since I played this, but I think you're right. This is right you can, you for can, 2.0. You can get into one of the speakeasies before somebody else does by yeah, playing cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I knew some people your, would say. buy your rum first yeah. before someone else's. Mm -hmm. Some um, people would say, say that the bootleggers are heroes, but definitely lawbreakers. Okay, but in this game, you are stealing other people's trucks. You are trying to shoot yeah. them down and yeah, stuff. You're muscling yeah. people out. You're shady. You, you're very you shady. You can't sit there and go, I'm just trying to bring alcohol to the masses. No. No. I mean, it's way worse doing. than that in this but, game. Hey, man. You got kids to feed. Bootleggers. This is true. Feed them booze. Number uh, six. Are we done yet? All right, number six. Number six is where I am going to go <laughs> into what? Nothing. Tom oh. saying things. Oh, what do he say? Things about things. Oh, okay. Uh, number six. Oh, are Vikings I, evil? Vikings are definitely not the good guys. More often than not. I watched not. that Viking TV show, and they certainly seemed affable. Affable? That's a big word. <laughs> That's a fancy word. It's not that big, but it's good. Affable. They what seem nice. They seem oh, congenial. Well, here's the thing. Um, You've been reading. <laughs> more often than not, the reason that I say that Vikings are the bad guys is because they're the ones that are invading other people's homelands and uh, pillaging and taking stuff and killing people and all that kind of good thing. So, but right. they, but no, they, not good thing. But, but they do bad things also besides that? Because that's all, I mean, is that it? That's not enough to make them the bad guy? That's okay, I guess. <laughs> They're no pirates. Can't tell if he's trolling or not. Who's worse, Vikings or pirates? I'm not talking about, like, Vikings versus pirates, <laughs> ninjas. Like, who is more morally corrupt? That's pirates a good question. Vikings? No kidding. That is a good yeah, poll make a question. Poll out of that one. <laughs> um, I'm going to put my money on something. I'm going to write it down. Here. <laughs> Vikings okay, versus so the question pirates. Is, who is more morally corrupt? Sure. Pirates? Or, Vikings? Or Vikings. Vikings, um, and then uh, equally, th they, right. they are okay. equally anyway, bad. Uh, back to the game. Uh, the game is really, really fun, in my opinion. It, I know he doesn't like it very much. He actually, I think you have the moniker that you actually fell asleep playing this game. Actually, I don't know what game we're talking about. Fire and, Fire and Axe. Axe, Viking Saga. No, that was uh, Turn and Taxis. Oh, okay. That's true. That's Same right. thing. Very similar. <laughs> <laughs> I just know that there's a game that I enjoy that he fell asleep playing. I, I just remember that. But anyway, Fire and Axe of Viking Saga. You're going around. You're, you're trading with people. That's not bad. Uh, but the reason you're trading with them <laughs> is so that they will invite you in next time. And then you can and stick them in and, and pillage and all this other kind take of stuff. Take your own stuff back. And take over uh, their, their territory. So... It's yeah. Vikings are usually not the bad guys. You know, the one thing I was wait usually about not this, the bad guys. Not the good guys. You usually mean. not the good guys. Right. Yes, correct. Correct. What Sorry. Got it. Anyway, um, the whole thing with my fascination, I guess you could say, with Vikings actually goes back to I was thinking about this making this list. Um, goes back to uh, learning about who discovered America first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And pirates. <laughs> no. Um, and, it's, and it's been, I, I believe it's been, been uh, proven that Vikings were actually the first ones to make landfall Wait, in pirates. North America. 
They they're Scandinavian pirates, yes. Oh, uh, pretty much. I'm Although like pirates Poland. are more on the high seas, Vikings were more were less about doing that's things true. on they the ocean. Landing they were landing raids. Landing, as opposed landing to raids. To sure, sure. Anyway, that's where my fascination with Vikings goes back to is because I was like, you know, I was really young and I was like, it was Christopher Columbus and it's not Christopher Columbus, it's Vikings. So I was like, who are Vikings? And so I started looking into it. Really? Yeah. So because of edumacation, you yes, like vi- pi- Vikings. Correct. I can just now picture little that's impressionable my- <laughs> Sam reading about Vikings. <laughs> These guys are amazing. I want to be a Viking when I grow up. Look at that big red All right, beard. so out of 67 <laughs> votes, 32 of them said pirates are more morally corrupt, 14 said Vikings, and 21 said they are equally bad. So what won there? Pirates. Pirates. Are more morally corrupt yes. than, Vikings. than Vikings? Yes. I, I bet on the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's my number six, Fire and Axe of Viking Saga. All right. My number six is a game in which everyone is a thief. And you are going around different cities in the world stealing stuff. This is a game called Caper, which I don't think you guys have played. Um, It's a two-player only game. You are going to be, it's a drafting game for two. You're going to be playing cards that represent shady characters into different locations on the board. And then in the following round, you'll be drafting equipment cards and giving them to these shady people. They're all evil. They're all thieves is the idea. Uh, even though some of them, of course, are, you know, do so through politics like the colonel there. The cleaner, I guess, comes in and cleans up after the dead body. That's a good thing. Him. He's a clean. He, he cleans. Helps out. He helps out. He's about hygiene. Um, um, no. He's getting but everybody, that. yeah, everybody's real All shady. three of these people look wholesome. The colonel. He looks, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a soldier serving his country. The cleaner. Keeps the house from getting all messed up, and the actress just trying to earn a living by pretending to be somebody else. Right. They're all kind of doing that, I think. Hmm. Oh. And these are some of the nicer looking people. I oh. Think, else. Some oh. of the other ones are a little scary. Maybe you should pick a, a better image for your for your your thing then. No. No. I do what I want. <laughs> I do what um, I want. I really like this game. It's a great two player game, as I said. Um, quick. Drafting, which is neat. You play a card, your opponent plays a card, and then you pass your hand to them. They give you theirs. You keep doing that. Really like it. Uh, Thinky. It kind of feels like this came up before Seven Wonders Duel did. But when I first played this, I thought, this is like Seven Wonders for just two people. And it's kind of got that vibe. Got it. It's very combo-rific. Uh, yeah, this is a reprint of a Spanish... Well, it is still a Spanish game. This is now from Key Master, uh, which is a company from here, the U.S. But it was originally a, a release just in Spain or Europe, I want to say. The new edition, which is this one, looks stunning. Great card quality. Everything is just... Oof, fantastic edition. So, my number six, Caper. Love it. Caper. My number six is one of the games with two different sides. Mm-hmm. You know, good guys and bad guys. And this one is... Star Wars Queen's Gambit. And the reason I picked this one is because I will way rather play the bad guys in this one than the good guys. I really like playing the bad guys. I don't know why, but I suspect there's a few reasons for that. Roger, Roger. One, um, I really like playing Darth Maul. He's cool. Yes. Darth right. Maul's a cool right. guy to run. Um, and I also like that the, the, good, the good guys have to get into the palace, so the bad guys have to stop that from happening to me. I, I like that it's aspect a little bit better. But number three, and easily probably the best of the lot, as the bad guy, you get to basically commit Gungan genocide. And I think a lot of people can get on board with that. Wow. Hmm. Kill him Gungan <laughs> style. <laughs> That's the worst. Oh my word. Shut up. My number five. My number five. And I can't remember exactly what universe this is in. I don't think it's the same universe as MCU. The Resistance, but it has a very similar vibe. Um, and that is Spectre Ops. It's not the same universe, Definitely correct? Definitely not. They're from different companies. Yeah, they're companies. T- different companies, huh. right. I like to hear you clarify this one. Who's the good guy and who's the bad guy in this one? Oof. Again, and that's that's the thing. That's the thing. Um, is it the hunters working yeah. for the corporation that's trying to keep the person out? Or is it the terrorist that's coming in? Hold up. You said terrorist. And 
uh, trying to wreak havoc and steal stuff and uh, see that's the thing. Are you trying to steal stuff or you're trying to blow stuff up? If you're both, trying to blow stuff up both fun. Um if you're trying to blow stuff up, I think you would definitely be the bad guy. But maybe you're trying to steal some secrets that the company is trying to hold right, that right. they're doing bad stuff so maybe you're the good guy and the hunters are the bad people because they're working for the bad guys that could be and you could be at that point then you're either a terrorist but you might be a liberator instead right that's the idea you might be someone who is trying to tear well, down this company because the company is evil yeah but Doing that by blowing stuff up is still. If, not if you good. look at the pictures, it's, I think it's drastic, but I think it still makes you the good guy. If you look the at the pictures, the of running, they make them look pretty bad. One turns into a werewolf. There is no such thing as a good werewolf, except for the one who was a teenager and played basketball. Whoa, whoa! American Werewolf in London, man. That guy was bad. No. Not be bad. That, that doesn't matter the, if you want. What about the You're beloved sequel, An American <laughs> Werewolf in Paris? <laughs> one of the better movies from the late nineties. <laughs> no. That I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> Spectre Ops. I guess on this the is another thing comment. like Raptor. It depends on your point of view which side is is worse. But I enjoy playing both sides. I definitely enjoy mm. playing the infiltrator more mm. than playing with the hunters. But I like both sides. So there you go. Spectre Ops. Good and evil. Number five. Uh, all right. My number five is. Let me make sure here. Yes, this is my final. Pirate pick. Wow, you really were all pirating. We should well, just pirates the top are ten fun. Pirates. I really like pirates, and they're kind of evil. Uh, what do you think this is? Well, you already did the two that I, I would have picked: rum and bones. And it's a cooperative game. There's such a thing as a cooperative pirate Jamaica. game. Jamaica. Yeah. No, it's a game called Dead Men Tell No Tales. Oh, okay. You're good guys in this one. You're rescuing you're people from the ship. Definitely not. No, no. You're, you're looting. fighting ghosts and skeletons. That by nature makes you good. The enemy of my dead person is my friend. I've heard that saying many <laughs> times, yes. But I don't think it really applies here. You are pirates. You are looting a ship that, that is burning. You set it on fire. You now must loot it. But you done messed up. Wait, you set it on fire? I didn't know that. I thought it was already In on. my story, you did. Oh, okay. However, as you are looting the ship before it burns to the, uh, to you know, down to Davy Jones' Wait, locker, I guess. you set the guess. ship on fire? Hey, man, it's my game. I say what I want. Got it. I've been chasing the ship for days, and I finally set it ablaze. However, <laughs> what I did not realize... What, are you a poet now? Because I said yes. ablaze, you're the one who said affable earlier. Get off my no, back. No, you said I've been following it for days, and then I set the ship ablaze. If I'm rhyming, I'm miming. <laughs> I don't know. Um, well, there's but there's worse things on the ship. You are right. There's monsters and skeletons and whatever. If there's anything but you're not TV good. is a bad guy becomes good if a worse bad guy shows up. Mm. Hands down. Hmm. Just erases everything you've done. I mean, I know for a fact that this crew attacking this ship just a week prior. I don't did, hear it. <laughs> did, some, did some horrible murdering. Anyway, I really like that Mentel No Tales. And again, it's, I'm kind of ranking these by how sort of messed up your crew is or, or the side you're playing is. I think this is worse. Um, these guys jumping in, they stealing all the stuff. You know, trying to like get rid of these demons or monsters and whatever, and then getting out of there. Yeah, it seems evil. I feel like I'm playing the evil side against a worse threat. But I never I don't feel even. Good. You know, I have to say, I've always when I played this game, I've always thought I was being heroic. It never occurred to me I was a bad guy. I know that you are, but I just forget about that because I'm I mean, fighting skeletons and putting out fire. You think I'm in there rescuing gold to take it to the museum? Look, yes. fame and fortune it belongs in my fame coffers. and fortune. Uh, anyway, that's my number three, four. What is it? Five. There we go. That right, my number tight. five. Now, now, hear me out here. Here we go. We said that animals are not evil, and therefore, by nature, single-cell animals would not be evil. But I would suggest that in this game, they are anyway. And that's Plague Incorporated, the board game. Mm -hmm. Because in this game, you are literally trying to wipe out humanity. That should be number one. You are trying to do so. You are an evil virus. Um, no. <laughs> Thank you for your well thought out argument. <laughs> I, I think at the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do. You know, if you were made for killing, 
You got to lean into it. Oh, so if there was killer evil robots, that would be fine. Yeah, but humans program them, man. That ain't right. That's right. But viruses, what are they supposed humans, to do? Humans created the Cylons. That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. We'll Cylons. get to your number one later. But no, what that's I'm not my number one actually. You can't play as that as them, right? Oh, you can. Well, secret. Anyway, in this game, you are the plagues. You are evil. You're bad. The will of the player Common is. Flu imbued into the plague you can play the game poorly so that the plague loses wow <laughs> i'm so good as a person my moral compass is so you know points north you so much that. that i choose to play erroneously so that i feel better about being me uh, like you lost yeah but at least i can sleep tonight that's yeah, right i didn't murder the entire world wow no, this is a good pick. Uh, I hadn't even thought about it, but you're right. It's a good one. This is this is making this is uh, based on a uh, yeah app. app or it was previously a video game, which was called Pandemic originally, mm -hmm. which is how I found it. Um, and yeah, it's really fun actually. And there's an expansion I think on Kickstarter right now. Yeah, I think so. This uh, number brought to you by <laughs> no, it was not paid for. <laughs> <laughs> number five, Plague Incorporated. Number four. You said that last time. Oh, I, can't, I can't do it twice. You're right. All right. My number four is a game that's very similar to Spectre Ops, but I like this one a little bit better, and that is Fury, Fury of, of Dracula. Dracula. I, I figured this would be on both your lists, frankly. Uh, Fury of Dracula. You're not evil in that game. Uh, Dracula I'm sorry. Absolutely Have you seen evil. any Dracula movie where he's portrayed as a slightly good character? Didn't they try to do that with Interview with the Vampire? Did he eat the interviewer? I don't know. I've never seen that I one. I don't remember. Um, he did eat the interviewer? That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, in Fury of, the Dra Fury of Dracula, uh, one person must play as Dracula, and he is trying to elude the hunters uh, throughout the course of the game. The hunters, on the other hand, are trying to uh, corporately corner him in a certain part of the board and uh, so you're definitely the bad dude on one side and I enjoy playing him better simply because I like to try to evade the other people. It's more right. fun for me uh, to evade rather than to hunt. Uh, so that's why I enjoy playing the bad guy more in this one. It's not because I like being the bad guy. It's I like the mechanism, I guess, that the bad guy has to You like use. being hunted. Uh, I wouldn't put it that way, but oh, let me, sure. I'll put it that way. You like being hunted. Sure, fine. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Later anyway. tonight, Sam's in his house. Here's a creek outside. I know, right? Crossboat comes through the... <laughs> With a note. You have five minutes. <laughs> Head start. The most dangerous game. I like to play board games where I have to evade other people and not realize. <laughs> uh, my number four, Fury of Dracula. All right, my number four, you are cultists. And you are trying to bring about uh, the elder god of your choice. But of course, there's other pesky groups trying to bring about their elder god. In Fate of the Elder Gods, which is my pick here. Hey everybody, uh, yeah. So tonight we're going to do a little evil worshipping. Any, any points we need to go over before we start? No? Okay. Uh, bring out the bucket of blood. I would like to uh, take a vote on the color of our robes, sir. Second it. <laughs> We haven't uh, even nominated the color yet, you second, doofus. <laughs> um, so th this is basically kind of a palette swap for what these games usually are. It's, you know, you have the good guys, which are those gray figures there. They're investigators. After the other groups. So you're like, oh, so-and-so can be doing nefarious things. I like it. It's got some take that. It's got some card manipulation and spell casting and stuff like that. Mm. It's a little bit to wrap your head around, honestly. It took me a couple of plays to start really enjoying this one, but I do like it. I like that there's two separate ways to win. You can push yourself up, or you can bring everybody down enough to, so that when like a check happens, they're all below you. You don't necessarily need to hit like you know the top, get to 10 or whatever. So I like that as well. Um, I don't know, it just feels it feels good in this game to mess with other players because they are evil so it's okay even though yes you yourself are evil as well and so while it is a take that it doesn't make me feel bad about doing it to the other teams you know mm -hmm. i really like it it's also a stunning production this is this is a game from uh, nexus i think is the name of the company 
and they blew it out of the park, man, with uh, the minis, the board, everything just looks fantastic. Cool. So, that's my number four pick, Fate of the Elder Gods. Fate of the Elder Gods. On another note, folks, we know that some of you are getting lagging. I apologize, but that's all on Comcast, who has, would fit the uh, theme of this list. That is very true. If you ever ask me to list the top ten evil things, I don't think I'd put Comcast as one because I would put some other things higher. But for human beings or corporations? <clears throat> Anyhow. Corporations. Plus, we're having a lot of... Um, well, there's a lot of rain going on here. A lot, a lot of, of rain. Getting a lot of lag out there. Sorry about that. All right, my number four has already been mentioned. This is one of the ones I thought would be a crossover, and it's with Sam. And this is Cash and Guns. There we go. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't really argue here. You're, you're a bunch of criminals splitting the loot up, and you are literally pointing guns at other people's heads. Yes, you are. There's nothing good about this, and the reason you're pointing a gun at someone else's head is because you want more money. Not head. Center mass. Center mass is better. Yeah, man. Makes less of a mess. Double tap. You know, if there's anything this list has taught me, it's that uh, I'm not as evil as I thought in these games <laughs> uh, compared to some of these other guys here. So. Well, you don't want to get too much blood on the, on the money. Catch you guys, my number four. Let's move on. Number three. Blah, blah. <clears throat> All right, my number three is another Vikings game. And uh, this one go. is where you are actually doing the invasion. Uh, you are invading another sovereign country, and that is 878 Vikings. Um, I <laughs> so did I accidentally give Sam a license to make a top 10 Vikings list? Kind of did. Uh, no, I put two out of, out yeah, of I 10. I did more pirates than he did Vikings. Yeah, it's okay. Come that's on. true. Well, I know, but I'm worried about what the top three are going to be now. Yeah, he said that's it. Nope, that's it. This is it? Yeah, this is it. No well, more Vikings. We'll be games. the judges of that. <laughs> no, I guarantee you. If I find one Viking in your games, young man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, 878 Vikings, you are, it's it's following, it's a historical game, um, uh, the uh, Academy Games uh, makes it, and uh, it's historically based of the real invasions, and um, it's really a fun mechanism uh, where uh, you have leaders that are going to be taking certain um, groups of either berserkers or just regular old uh, pleasant Vikings, and you're moving... <laughs> Moving in and trying to air control different parts of the area, and you're basically trying to stranglehold the the uh, the island of England. So uh, it is a very fun game. Um, I like that series. There's a 1776, and there's also the with evil Canadians <laughs> um, during the American right. Revolution. Then there's also the my top uh, four games are Canadian themed. The 17. What is the other one for 1812? The invasion of Canada, Canada or whatever, or whatever that one's it is. Yeah. Yeah. He's but planning it, ahead every date. It's so eventually he'll just be able to pick a date and he has it. It's uh, it's and the same year. system uh, out of all three of those games, and, and they all play very similarly. But this one is is uh, my favorite of the three. Um, I like the little miniatures that come in this one. That's why. Uh, so that's my number three: eight seventy eight Vikings, the invasions of England. So this means Blood Rage didn't make the list. That is correct. All right. You're not evil. I mean, you're just fighting for glory. That's correct. Yeah, that one doesn't feel like you're invading other people. You're fighting other groups that are like you it doesn't i don't know yeah i think that's a good call all right my number three let's get real now let's talk about evil now no claustrophobia 1643 <laughs> witness you are playing look at that box cover well one I mean, player is evil well i think the other side ain't too good either I that's mean, right they're called convicts right yeah it's a bunch of convicts that got sprung from jail just to fight demonic hordes i mean nobody comes out on skate to this one but I do like, I'm good with either side, honestly, but playing the demon side in this is very satisfying. Like, from a, uh, I guess, a moral point of view, it feels good. It's very fulfilling to me to roll those dice to slaughter my enemies. You know, they came into my caverns. I, I didn't go out there to go bother them and what they were doing. You came down here. You were going to, though. Uh, they don't know that. They, I, just you know, my, I just went my. This was a you, a preemptive <laughs> strike. Yes, against that's an what, evil. See, that's what person. your side says it's to a, justify it's the actions the of your evil men. Let's go, more Pally. Demons. Yes. Well, what do you call yourselves then? Holy people. <laughs> No. <laughs> you got a bunch of demons, yes. The troglodytes and beasts and demons and whatnot. Bad guys. Uh, bad guys. We're the bad guys, yes. I really enjoy this game. It's good stuff. 
uh, dungeon crawl game for two players only. There's quite a few games for mainly two players on my list, I guess. Um, this is one of my favorite dungeon crawl games. It's clean, straightforward. I really like the immersion in it. It's very evil. It's a very darkly themed game, but um, quick pace, and cool missions. Really like it. Mm. So, Claustrophobia, 1643, my number three pick. Sweet. My number three is a little on the nose. It's called Evil Incorporated. Well, close. It's villainous. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good, that's a good You are one of thing. the Disney villains. There's no question here. You're an evil person, and your goal is to accomplish some sort of evil thing. Yes. And you occasionally do good things, which I think I used to justify this to put on the last list. I almost used a picture of, of Disney villains in the, in the intro. Almost. That's because not. a lot of Disney villains, you end up liking them. Like, you do? Who? I'm a little worried. Hades, you. Oh, Excuse me. I'm the one who picked Monster Fury. You enjoy right? like you 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 like Hades. You don't find him an amusing villain. He's a bad guy, though. I'm not saying that some of the stuff I'm he says saying... isn't funny, but that doesn't mean I like him. Well, you. Okay, Walt Disney just sent me an email yesterday. He did. He's dead. How no, is that the possible? the corporation, you Dorcas. <laughs> Walt Disney's having an email. They're having villain after hours party where people dress up like villains and come and hang out and watch villain shows. Sounds like a cult. <laughs> <laughs> it does, right? It does. But obviously, what people, other, people what? like the Disney villains. They just do. What I don't know why. Ones, though? I mean, Corella DeVille. I don't like she's her. She's really, no, I like her a lot. The way she slaughters puppies. No. What is wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with I'm you? I'm not saying I enjoy the Corella bad things like the worst one of them all. <laughs> There's Ursula. No. No, I don't like her. I don't Ursula. like her. Um, I like Scar. No. No. He, man, he killed. He killed yes. Mufasa. But I'm he can sorry. sing like, oh, get out. Anybody who hurts Be James prepared. Jones. He's got a nice voice, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I don't like him. Come on. No, oh, he's the worst, man. How about the evil queen? She just chopped, I mean, uh, the queen of hearts. She chops people's heads off, but it's just, they're just cards. And you never actually see. Villainous, my number three. Let's <laughs> move on. Lean into it. <laughs> you go to number two. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> All right, my number two. Uh, this is one of those. Um, Universi, universes that have multiple villainous factions within them, or as the game calls them, war bands. And uh, this one is called uh, Warhammer Underworlds, Shadespire, or Night Vault. I'm totally on board with this. I don't think there's a good person in this universe. Well, the no, not not the game. The universe. They're the all evil. Stormcast Eternals are evil. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. I don't know about. I don't Have know you seen about their lore. The decor, but they are what the Stormcast Eternals? Like no, of just this universe. Oh, in I general. see what you're saying. All there the skulls are skulls and all yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're well, evil. I get it. Yeah, no, I, I I understand that. But there are some factions that are, I guess you could say, better than others, and the, they would be the one tau. of them. They're definitely not the you know the corn berserkers or anything like that. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> those guys would be hard to justify. They're good. I know, right? So, I'm a corn berserker, and anyway, I'm here to help you out with the cookies. I don't necessarily care if there's a bad guy faction that I'm playing. I mean, the orcs are probably my most favorite faction, and they're definitely a bad faction in my opinion. So I, I don't really care in this game, and I just. I just enjoy playing the game a lot. Uh, so that's that's uh, Warhammer Underworld, Shadespire, and or Night Vault. Or any other faction in between. They have standalone little packs for this too, Yes, right? they do. All right, my number two is a game I talk about quite a bit, and it is somewhat similar to Claustrophobia. This is The Others. I think... Um, I knew this would be on your list. I thought it would be your number one, it's actually. number two. You'll see. My number one, I think the people are more evil in my number one than in this one. Because in this one, you are, if you're playing the bad guys, you are One of the seven demons. sins. Yeah, yeah, like you are, like you're just giving into your nature, There baby. should be no defensiveness in your voice right now, and yet I'm hearing some. You're like, wow! I'm just <laughs> saying, yeah, absolutely. Look, you are evil because that is in your very nature. What are you supposed to do, hand out flowers? I don't think so. Here. <laughs> so. No, thank you. So in this one, I you know I kind of understand them. You know what I mean? You are a, a one of the seven personified in your very nature. 
But anyway, I like this a lot. Also, Dungeon Crawl O versus One kind of game. I talk about it a lot. My favorite Dungeon Crawl. This is my favorite. My number one. Um, my number two. As far as Dungeon Crawls go. Oh, I got it's it. It's also it. my number two pick on this list because bad guys. Hey. All right, my number two is a bit more nuanced, I guess, than yours. Is it? Uh, in this game, everyone's playing an evil person, and we just take turns being that same evil person. Oh. That's Sheriff of Nottingham. There's no oh, way. Yeah, this sure. guy is just bad straight up. I mean, he's the villain from Robin Hood. Yes, I know there's been a few tellings where they're trying to make him nicer. Revisionist history. But yes, because Robin Hood's so very historical. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's real. <laughs> Him and Sherlock Holmes used to hang but out. But in this game, you are charging people money. And yes, they're, some of them are breaking the law by smuggling stuff. But you can take a bribe. Each time someone plays a game, you're just exuding that smarminess, that whole, give me a little something, something, and I'll let that through. I think you're not the, I, I think, honestly, he's a man at work. I think people smuggling goods are breaking the law. He's doing his job. A man at when work When I play, I never take bribes, bribe. so that's the thing. Yes. When you I'm never playing, take bribes. No, when I play, if I think you're lying to me, I will open your bag and I'll pay you if I. No, that's a lie. I've, seen, I've you. seen you take a bribe. No, you haven't. <laughs> I think it's on video you taking a bribe. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Plead the fifth. Plead the fifth. <laughs> this is before the Constitution exists. Oh, snap. <laughs> A futurist. <laughs> Robin, it's like, huh? The fifth. I plead the fifth. <laughs> Hold up. I think the sheriff is actually, the, the sheriff of Nottingham is definitely. Okay, the job itself. Historical. Is, but Robin Hood is. The oh, you're still in the history part. thing. The, 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 the job itself is, is fine. It's a neutral, good job. The, the players, Someone by has their to very nature, their very nature become trade. evil in this game. That's true. That's and if good. you don't, it's not fun. Like everyone's like, oh, I yeah. have four chickens. Come on through. You do that with everybody. The, the next person yeah, goes. Then next, like, what next time around. Yeah, but if you do that, you're making other people behave in an evil way because they're like, oh, next time we'll just let me go through. So I'm gonna start smuggling things. No, I'm saying if everyone plays. This very, game incites evil. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my number one. I mean, number two, Sheriff of Nottingham. Finally, hey, finally, number one. <laughs> You're so mad. Goodness, great. Blow up the tower. There it goes. <clears throat> All right, my number one uh, is actually two games because they both use the same system for their bad person. And that is the river system employed in both Batman and Conan. You got to pick one, home. Huh? Right. The reason I enjoy I'm not playing convinced the Joker's bad guy. A bad guy. Here, <laughs> oh my goodness. The reason I enjoy playing the bad guy here is not because I enjoy playing the bad guy. I enjoy the mechanism involved with playing the bad guy. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm, I'm able to turn some, somewhat of a blind eye towards the badness that I am enacting upon the good guys because I enjoy playing the, the, the system, the mechanism so much. Uh -huh, that's what evil so, guys always say to justify their actions. I know, right? I'm enjoying the procedure. <laughs> 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 but the river system of both of these games just is a really fun mechanism. And it's also kind of a leveling mechanism as well. It, it allows you to go all out as much as you possibly can to... Um, uh, and, and do the best you can without feeling like you're, you're just being a party killer. Right, um, right, right. And that's what I enjoy about it a you're lot. You're killing more than just a party. I just want to clarify. <laughs> <laughs> the Joker but, The Joker is one of those guys that I have a hard time believing anybody would, like, sign up for his jobs. Like a one ad in the paper, you're like, the Joker, like, yeah, no. You got mouths to feed. No, no. Like, what's his mortality rate of his henchmen? That's true. It's quite high, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, he'll sit there and be like, ah, psh. if the Joker shoots the guy right next to him, he does it sometimes, and then everyone's, and the other guy's I'm like, ha, 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 boss. I would also say, ha, 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 boss. And then in the very, as soon as I was at the Joker's site, <laughs> dive my car. My name. Move I mean, to Metropolis, where Superman is. Yeah, mm -hmm. saddle up to him. But that's my number one, Batman slash Conan, because, or Conan, however you want to pronounce it, and uh, because of that river Which was better. Which one's better? I, I, I like Batman better Man. because of the more palatable, universally palatable theme. I think... The book. No. I even anyway. 
My number one um, is... It must be about angels going bad. No, it's about murder. A bunch it's, of priests murdering people. No, it's a game called The Bloody Inn. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, 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 that's right. You are running an inn. You are taking people into your inn. They are. You have rooms to let. You check them in, but you don't always check them out. I don't think you... Do any of them check out? Sometimes, yeah, they leave. And they pay you for the night they stayed. Unless you kill them, steal everything in their pockets. And get you have to hold on to the corpse until you're able to bury the corpse. They, they take you through the entire process of being a murderer in this card game. Yeah. Wait, so all these people here, this peasant, I haven't played this game. Yeah. The peasant, the mechanic, and the newsboy. Yeah. They're going to die likely. Likely. So you can take them in, they'll pay you, they leave, that's fine. Or you can take them in and bribe them, like strong arm them to work for you. Then you get the special power. Or you can take them and kill them. Then you get everything in their pockets. You have to bury them somewhere that you can. You also have to watch out because sometimes Woo! cops come by and you cannot have a body unburied if a cop's staying overnight. So, Or you can kill the cop. That works. <laughs> and then the problem is, if you kill a cop, you have another body to hide. And if the very next night another cop shows up, it's like in Skyrim. then you, start, you, you probably have to kill him too. <laughs> now you have three bodies and you need to find a place to bury them because you run out of room. It kind of <laughs> makes you feel like a serial murderer. <laughs> like in it's a fantastic. You, killed, you, you can kill, kill me on that, by the way. You kill the box. one person that saw you commit the crime in Skyrim. You're good. Are you? I think so. Well, I'm going to go test that tonight. <laughs> Time to kill. Oh, um, boy. Anyway, it's this one is very dark. Uh, and yeah, yeah. sure, they kind of treat it as a... You know, it's got that Edward Gorey kind of vibe. It's kind of morbid, but it's cartoony also. Wow, it's similar to what's the movie with the, the musical, The Barber. Oh, um... Barber of Seville? No, Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd, yeah, Sweeney Todd. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is, it is kind of like that. But uh, this is one I, could, I couldn't think of anything more Phoebe evil. Phoebe Seymour, it's like that too. The sure, a little bit, yeah. I really like this card game. It's good stuff. But cool. it's the most evil one I could think of. <coughs> oh, see, okay, I didn't put mine as much the most evil, but just how much I like being the bad guy in sure, them. Sure. All right. Um, so my number one is pretty straightforward. It's just Descent. There's no question that the villains in Descent are pretty bad. If you don't, go read about some of the lieutenants in these things. <laughs> oh, they have, like, background stories on them? Yeah, well, you see them. It's in the Terranoth universe. Like, okay. there's that one whole Pharaoh family, whatever they're called, and it's just like, Rrr. you know, the brothers, the sisters sitting there drinking a goblet of blood. Yeah, it's pretty gross. Um, and I like being the bad guys in Descent. I don't know what it is. I, 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 if you ask me to play Descent and I have to be one of the heroes, I won't play probably. That's how much I like being wow. the bad guy. I know. I don't know what it is. Mm. I like being the dungeon master here to some degree, and that's why it's my number one. All so, right. pretty cool, easy cool pick there. Beans. Now's your chance to ask why we didn't pick such and such a game. Sam, people have been asking the whole chat why you didn't pick Rebellion. Because I don't like being the, the Imperials. Really? Yeah, I don't like being that You don't side. like blowing up a whole planet? Negative. No, I don't. Rebellion Matter of fact, it makes me that? sad. When Star Wars Rebellion. It makes me sad whenever they blow up Kashyyyk because it seems like Kashyyyk blows up every That's single it's, game. You know why? It's because it's <laughs> right... Exactly. <laughs> it's right next to the it Death like Star Wars stars. Hair. That's I know, why. I know, I know. But uh, space smells like burnt hair no, for a whole I, I week definitely, I, d <laughs> I definitely enjoy playing the uh, Rebels much, much more than the Imperials in that game. There you go. Okay, no, that's fine. What about people ask about Cult Express? I don't like that game much. Yeah, uh, I don't know. That's I, good. I mean, yeah, you are definitely, uh, you know, robbing a train. It almost feels like you are a nice bad guy in this one. I don't know how to explain I guess it. So, You're yeah, more like, ma'am, give me your yeah, wallet. You know what I mean? I mean it kind of comes kinda across the as the. That's been brought in a lot of Western movies. You have these guys that are train robbers, but there's a little bit of honor that's there because they're very polite with ladies and with children and oh here you know give me that you know that type of stuff but and the guy chasing them the marshal chasing them is way more evil well he's apparently because right. he'll just shoot them where they he's stand and he doesn't mean. care yeah 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 sure um deception murder in Hong Kong I like being the forensic scientist in that game the one that's giving out the clues I didn't pick any of those games I, someone picked resistance was that you no, Sam, I didn't. I didn't pick any of the games where you might be the bad guy because 
Usually I'm good with whatever happens it's in that a, game. There's a traitor overall. mechanism right. or whatever, yeah. I would only pick one if I liked being the bad guy more. And you could pick it also. Yeah. Um, someone asked about Escape from Aliens in Outer Space. That was on my short list. That was a number 11, uh, probably. I was pretty close. I also had Cold Express was one I considered, and Marvel Villains Legendary. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, those were my, that was on my, those were, I didn't have a very long short list. Yeah, cause, me neither. Because once I found them, I was like, yeah, this is it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so my people asked about Pandemic with the uh, variant of the bioterrorist, but I don't like the game that way, so... That's my least favorite module in everything that they have put out for Pandemic, and that's a lot of stuff. The original. Oh, Viral's a good one. I didn't think... Oh, Viral... Well, Viral's like Plague, Inc. Yeah. Same thing. Sure, but it's only one guy. But Plague, Plague, Inc. Inc. is like killing everybody. humanity, so that's probably a thing there. Way better. Battlestar Galactica, a lot of people asked about that. Just yeah. being Balter Gaius, not even a Cylon. I agree. <laughs> that's that if you if, if you pick like Baltar, you're like, yep. you're bad. I don't yep, care yep. what you if you're a Cylon yep, or not. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, no, I mean, I don't know. Um, I again, on that one, I don't like, and it's one of those ones where you can't pick. So if you are a bad person, you didn't you really can have pick anything Balter to do. Gaius. Well, Gaius Baltar. Um, I say his name backwards on purpose. Okay, I'm jerk. Because sure he's um, a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so. But again, that's another one where I enjoy the game more as a non Cylon than I do as a Cylon. Well, technically. Be quiet. <laughs> one thing that someone asked here, and I, I would actually, when I was going through the games, I thought you'd put this on your list was Village Attacks. Yeah. But again, are you, you the don't evil have, guys in that? Yeah. yeah, you're, you're yeah. the monster that the villagers are attacking. Yeah, no, I Well, oh, the that. village attacks you, the that monster. That would probably be, that, that's probably an, um, an erroneous omission. I apologize. That would probably be on the list. That would have not cashed in. What about guillotine? You're not evil. You're doing your job. You're chopping people's heads off right left. You, that's your job. Because your the, job sucks, but that's your queen job. Told you to do it. Yeah, not. they are evil. It's also not that great. I mean, it's a it's a decent game, but it's not. It, it's just not a game I would play all the time. Sure, right. Bang the dice game. It's always. Um, <laughs> Eleven seven Omega Protocol. You're the Marines in that game. Oh, I guess one person's playing the aliens. Same thing. I'm it's not sure the aliens in that game games. are bad though. It's just like one versus the other. Mm -hmm. Oh, Narcos. Well, I don't think we played Narcos yet. You no, have it. it's actually set up in the room over there. I was just looking at it. Oh, you're looking yeah. at Narcos right now? That, well, if you like it, that definitely could be on the list. Yeah, and all, on both sides are kind of shady in that, yeah. That's true. A lot of people at War of the Ring, sure. Although War of the Ring, I like playing both sides equally, so I didn't pick that one. Mm -hmm. I considered it. Uh, Dead of Winter. Eh, only if you're the traitor. Right. Rampage, you could have picked that if you had picked. Instead of King of Tokyo, I could have picked that, but I like King of Tokyo better. I and mean, Rampage, though, well, I guess Rampage, you actually are taking meeples off the board because you are eating people. Oh, again, in King of Tokyo, I'm eating people, man. I don't care if it's <laughs> off screen or not. Off screen. Yeah, that's a montage. Of when me we're done like, here, we turn it off and then our, we pour them out. Enough of this top ten. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Well, if you're watching this later on and not live, list your favorite games where you get to be the bad guy. Maybe you don't like to be the bad guy. I've certainly met people before who don't want to play the bad guy side mm -hmm. of, of a game. Um, and there are some games where being the bad guy makes me slightly uncomfortable the way because they're so evil and so over the top. Sure, like right, um, right. the Eric Lyon game, um, Cast yes, in the, the old, old world. world yeah. It's almost They're all evil. so evil. Even Cthulhu Wars, you're kind of pretty evil in that game, right. right? I mean, whatever. You can call me timid or not if I'm not necessarily keen on that. But I know if, if someone comes to me and they're like, I'm not comfortable playing this, so, yeah. so be it. You know, it's not yeah. that big of a deal. Yeah, for me, I don't mind playing. See, it's, it's well, we interesting. Know that. I don't mind playing the evil guy in a board game, but I don't normally play evil in a video game. Especially even the ones that give you the choice. I go good usually. It just it's a little more real, you know what I mean? It feels a little more personal. That's if true. I'm like a have a conversation with choice. some lady in like the old west or uh, some sci-fi setting and then you pull out a gun and shoot them. I'm like, "Oh, no. Mm -hmm. You want me to find your cat? I'll go find your stupid cat." 
Like, did you ever play, remember that, oh, that Star Wars game way back in the day, the video game where you could pick early on, basically, if you wanted to follow Light Path or the Dark Jedi Path? The Jedi one? Uh, or, no, you mean yeah, uh, you were a Jedi. Knights of the Old Republic? No, it's before Knights of the Old Republic. It was called Jedi Knight. Jedi Knight, yeah. And at some point, you could pick, mm -hmm. why well, be good, or uh, you could get Force Lightning if you were bad. You pick. The good. Always. So did I. No. I wanted Force Lightning! Actually, no, you know why? Power. Actually, I did, I did pick good. And the reason I picked good wasn't because I actually did want Force Lightning, but because I was worried the story wouldn't be as good if I'm bad. Hmm. Sure. I always think the story is better if you're good in the video the, game. Like there, are, there are, there are uh, paths or storylines in Skyrim that I just don't do because... Some of those are really evil. Really, yeah, you're, you're like, really whoa, bad. whoa, hold up. Oh, the assassin? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the assassin my word. Assassin guild, they're like, okay, steal this key. I'm like, okay, I'm kind of uncomfortable, but okay, here's your key. Cool, now go kill that guy. I'm like... Why? I want to go do something Yeah, but then they're else. like, <laughs> kill the bride yeah. right after she says her vows on her wedding day. Yep. Yeah, it was, it was dark. I don't think I ever pursued okay. that very much. I've clearly done it. No, I've done it too. There was a time where I was trying to finish the game, and I didn't finish the game to its completion, but then I restarted the game, and I was like, now I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do this, and I'm not going to do that, because it's just nasty. Marker. Yeah, I know. All righty. Well, until next time, I'm Tom Vassal. I'm Zeke Garcia. Thanks, everybody. Sam Healy. See you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care. Yeah.